Hello, I'm Jenny Agata. Welcome to this new film of The Railway Children. Going back to The Railway Children has been an incredibly rewarding experience because Edith Nesbitt's enchanting tale has been an important part of my life. I first played the role of Roberta, the eldest of The Railway Children, on television. Two years later, Lionel Jeffries asked me to be in his film. I had no idea the impact the film would make, but three decades later, I still find people talk about it as if it were yesterday. I have many happy memories of both the television programme and the film, and my association with the film over the years has been such a positive one that I was very pleased to be a part of this new production. The story is about three children living in London at the turn of the century. They seem to have everything, caring parents, a comfortable home, but suddenly their lives are turned upside down when inexplicably their father is taken away. The family is forced as their mother puts it, to play at being poor for a while. Taken away from their secure household, they have to grow up and learn about the adult world in a small house in the country, near a railway line. Roberta, or Bobby as she's called, becomes responsible for them all and takes the lead in their many adventures. I am now stepping into the role of mother, a part played so beautifully by Diana Sheridan. She made her compassionate and capable. Mother is a writer, probably writing stories about, if not for, her children. Edith Nesbitt herself was a fascinating woman who defied the conventions of her time and someone I've long been interested in. Her life was not an easy one. Her father died when she was four, which is why I feel the return of the father in this story is so poignant. Her ability to see the world clearly through the eyes of a child has endeared her to generation after generation and her strong sense of morality makes her stories as relevant now as they have ever been. When I was asked to play mother, I was eager to know who the children would be. Three very talented young people were found. Claire Thomas plays young Phyllis perfectly, and I could easily identify with Jack Blumenau's Peter, having a son of my own. And it was lovely to play opposite Jemima Rupa, who portrays Bobby. She is so sensitive, but also finds great strength in her character. Michael Kitchen plays their wrongfully imprisoned father and when he returns at the end one is painfully aware of what he has gone through. Mr Perks, the eccentric station porter, played so memorably in the film by Bernard Cribbins, is portrayed here very touchingly by Gregor Fisher and the kindly old gentleman who helps the children is played by Richard Attenborough. Another important part of the story is the station itself. The Bluebell Railway in Sussex proved the perfect setting for their adventures. Lionel Jeffries, who directed the 1970 version, was able to bring to life his particular and wonderful view of the Edwardian world, filled with charm. His film has become a classic. Now, almost a hundred years since Edith Nesbitt wrote the book, which has never been out of print, producer Charles Elton, director Catherine Morshead, and writer Simon Nye have returned to her story to create a fresh version for a new generation. This has been very much a labour of love for all concerned, which we hope you will enjoy watching again and again. I'm sure the Railway Children will continue to delight audiences of all ages for many years to come. <laughs>